Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. It's cold outside, so I thought I'd, you know, bask under the heat lamp here with my buddy Jack, the Savannah Monitor. What a cool lizard this is. And I'll tell you, obviously, there are pretty good sized animals, you can tell. He's got that big, strong tail that he can use as a weapon if he needs to. But you're going to notice that he's kind of round and a little low to the ground. And that's a, a good way for these big lizards to absorb as much heat as they can. Um, obviously, they like it hot, and so they want to absorb that sunlight or in this case a heat lamp and obviously it's by spreading out that big chunky body that's a way they could do that but what I really want to talk about with this guy today is how cool their breathing is the Savannah monitor is really unique in the fact that it is one of only two reptiles that we know of in the world that have one-way breathing now what in the world does that mean well you and I as humans we we breathe good obviously to survive but our breathing mechanism isn't the best in the animal kingdom that belongs to birds and the reason is birds they have to fly so they need to use a lot of energy and need as much oxygen as possible so when birds breathe they breathe in that air goes into their lungs but excess air is stored in air sacs in the back of their body so when they breathe out some of that stored air with rich in oxygen is actually absorbed into their body so they're absorbing oxygen when they breathe in and when they breathe out well we as humans we're not that lucky when we breathe in that goes through our lungs and basically as we breathe out that air that we're breathing out is stale it's got no oxygen it does us no good well, guess what? There's two reptiles in the world that breathe that way that we know of. The American alligator and this guy here. So what does that mean? Well, they're not a very active animal, very active lizard, so it, it doesn't seem to really, really benefit them in any other way other than it's a better way to breathe. But we think maybe that has means that they have a link to dinosaurs and the idea that dinosaurs evolved in the birds. The question is still out there. Scientists are working to try to figure this out. We don't have many answers, but it really is a neat thing to think about and a cool thing to think about that this animal could have branched off from uh, into a bird at one point. That's a neat thing to think about. I don't know. I love it. But anyway, when you're at the zoo, little tip for you. Outside the exhibit, there's a little hole in a tree. That's where this guy likes to hang out most often. He loves to sleep the day away. These guys, they love to eat mollusks, bugs. So the cockroaches we have here at the zoo, this guy loves to eat them. And out in the wild, they're going to be eating things like a lot of crickets and what have you. And you probably notice that tongue coming out every now and then. Just like a snake, this guy is going to smell with his tongue. Oh, and one final thing. You might see little pieces of his skin coming off. Don't worry, he's not sick. That's how these guys shed. They don't shed in one big piece like a snake does, just in small little bits here and there. How cool. But guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana with... Jack, our beautiful Savannah Monitor.